What is the worst thing you've overheard while pretending to be asleep? I was doing a all-nighter with the boys, gaming of course, I fell asleep at some point playing Minecraft Creative, and woke up too. How often do you guys pleasure yourselves? When I was a wee tot, I pretended to be asleep in the family room so I wouldn't have to actually go to bed and once my parents were distracted, I could keep watching TV. I then got to hear my dad proposition my mom for couch sex, it's been many years so I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was something along the lines of hop on pop. Had a bunk bed in college and one night my girlfriend and I woke up to my roommate banging some chick on the top bunk. My girlfriend asked me what we should do and I just mumbled just go back to sleep because I figured saying something to them at the moment would make things much more awkward. He still doesn't know. I was in trade school in a different city than my hometown. So I was staying at my in-laws home. My wife's dad was away for the weekend and I noticed her mom was wearing fancy dresses, she's a very beautiful woman often mistaken for my wife's sister, she also seemed extra giddy before she would go out for the evenings. On the evening my father-in-law got home, I was in my room studying when I heard him yell at the top of his lungs so you f the guy. I can only assume she felt guilty and told him since it was soon after he go home. Anyways. He was yelling at her for most of the night and I heard lots of crying from both of them, I heard some pretty terrible things. They are both very nice people and it was sad to hear them on their worst night. They've stayed together and it looks like they are fighting to make their marriage work. My father-in-law was very cold, distant, and angry for a couple of years, but they seem to be warm towards each other again. Also, the following morning they apologized for all the noise they made and I told them I was just listening to music. My mom being raped by her abusive husband. It was on a bunk bed and me and my brother were on the top bunk silently crying. I don't talk about it much but it sticks with me. Edit, hey guys, wow, I wasn't expecting this to blow up so much but it was so wonderful reading everyone's comments. It sounds like a lot of people have been through something similar and I'm glad this comment got people to talk about it. Update on that guy, I have no clue where he is. I ended up moving in with my dad a couple years after this and never really looked back. My mother got away from him shortly after that. I did start talking to my brother again recently and maybe thinking of sharing Christmas together this year. My mom and stepdad talking mad shit about me. I was in high school and needed to start seeing the counselor for mental health issues. My parents were essentially making fun of me, saying that I wanted attention and started mocking my voice saying, no one understands me, I'm so mistreated. My friends talking about going into my wallet later and steal my money and then leave before I notice, I kicked them out. My dad and stepmom was having a foursome with a couple of their friends. We were at a summer house and they did it in the living room. I felt so uncomfortable eating breakfast the next day. While I was undergoing anesthesia for surgery but not quite out, I felt my gown being removed by the surgical team. As soon as my top was exposed, I heard a male voice say, Wow, she's really developed. I was 14. My friend and her boyfriend having sex while we were staying in a hotel room together. There were two beds and my boyfriend and I were on the other one. She was so drunk and her boyfriend was like no stop, they'll hear us, no. But he finally gave in. I kinda gave her shit about it later though. She later on fucked a different guy in my bed that same year during a party. We don't speak anymore. On a class trip, I heard a girl talk badly about me to the other girls in my room saying I was a retard and too dumb to stand up for myself. She said the only reason she didn't bully me out of this school was because she needed me to help her with my homework. Then my best friend stood up for me. She said that I wasn't dumb and just a bit shy, and then told her to F off. Found out my dad's best friend died. They have been friends since they were literally 5 years old, went to the same schools, stayed best friends for 50 years, when he became an alcoholic and cut off contact with everybody, my dad still reached out to him multiple times even though he obviously wasn't ready. He eventually got off the drink and they became really close again and were calling each other every day. I woke up to the phone ringing and my dad looking at it and immediately saying to my mom oh god I think he's dead. He knew that she only called when something bad was up and he had been hospitalized multiple times because of his drinking. I remember saying on a post years ago that I dread to think of the day that his best friend died because I knew it was coming soon because of his past. My dad is old and is the type of guy who just wants a chat, and I know a lot of people he talks to don't want to do that. Anyway, I heard it all unfold and pretended to sleep because I just did not know what to say. 
I couldn't imagine losing a best friend for that long. I sat in my bed for hours thinking about it but just laying still. I didn't fully process it until I went to work and I spent nearly two hours crying in the toilets. That was the only time I cried in my adult life. Roommate's boyfriend and his friend came into my room when they thought I was asleep. It was warm and I was sleeping naked with minimal blanket coverage. I froze and pretended to sleep. They proceeded to talk about my body and how it was anyone's type. Also how easily it was to drug ladies these days. Oh and also the friend talked about how easy it would be to steal slash sell my boyfriend's boat motor that he had stored in the room. Yeah so they were kicked out and friend became an ex-friend because she was pissed I'd let my boyfriend kick them out. Before I got divorced. Was laying in bed late, 11am or so, on my day off, after a long string of I think 10 or so work days in a row. My ex, who refused to get a job, was in the next room playing a video game, and I heard him say that motherfucking bitch is still sleeping. Probably the funniest was on a camping trip with the boys. I have sleep apnea and use a CPMP machine. I overheard a couple of my mates talking about smoking a joint and hotboxing me through the air intake of my CPAP machine. On the other side of the coin, a friend of mine also slept with a CPAP one night, the dog was sleeping right next to the table where the machine was sitting. The dog ripped super noxious ass, which would have been fine slash friend would have been safe with a mask on, were it not for the fact that the fart got sucked up through the air intake. Woke him straight up out of a dead sleep, gagging and gasping for clean air. The person in the bunk under me beating his dick like it owed him money. Acted asleep while family were talking amongst themselves about getting me married off to this girl who's educated but 5 years older than me. I was 15. Then she got married and divorced and absolutely ragged all abused. So I actually feel bad about it now. When I was like 10 or 11 I visited my dad and while we were watching a movie I tried to fall asleep and I proceeded to hear him fuck his gf on the bed I was trying to sleep on. When I woke up all I saw was clothes on the floor. I don't know why I didn't just get up and leave but at least I fell asleep before it really started. My roommate and her FWB having loud, dirty talk sex. I just had my wisdom teeth out and I think they assumed I was passed out on pain meds. My mom on a payphone, begging her boyfriend for more heroin. I wasn't pretending to be asleep per se, but I was well on my way. I was under anesthesia and was fading in and out. I remember closing my eyes to help move things along. I was in a lot of pain because my appendix ruptured. This happened years ago, so I can't remember all of the details, unfortunately. I remember being moved over to an operating table, and they told me to take my shirt off, I think. I heard someone go, what do you think would happen if I poked her belly button right now? I was an Audi prior to having an appendectomy. They went through my belly button so that is no longer the case, anyway, someone, very quickly responded, dude, that is not funny. Remember what happened the last time? It's possible I was starting to dream, but I remember it making me feel a mix of amusement and anxiety. Do just do it, it's not like she'll remember. She's asleep it's okay to touch her last night, noped out of there so fucking quick. In college woke up to roommate's bed creaking, I shoot up to see what the hell is going on. There I see some woman on her back with her legs full spread eagle and my roommate just pile driving it like it was his last day on earth. Like a good bro I quickly lie back down and pretend to be asleep. Her, in between gasps of air is your roommate awake? Him, no he sleeps through anything. Cut to next morning. I casually get up and turn on my PlayStation 2 and start playing some random game. Roommate's fling gets up and casually comes over and sits next to me. Her, good morning my name me, good morning her name her. Did you sleep good last night? Me, yeah, I can sleep through anything. As the last word left my mouth I immediately realize I blew it. She began a huge flurry of slaps at my roommate while cursing at him. He didn't care because he was too busy laughing the whole time. Don't feel too bad. My mom banged some random guy on my bottom bunk while I was on the top bunk. I was probably 8 or 9 at the time. I'm talking loud, vocal, crazy sex. Looking back I assume she was either wasted or just didn't give a shit, can't ask her now because I haven't seen her since I was around 12 to 13. Anyway just thought I'd share. Something like she's too old for this, I'm not going to carry her up to bed anymore. And that was the last time I was magically transported from the living room couch to my bedroom. My mom having an affair with her fiancé's best friend, who was married. In the same room that I was sleeping in. I was like 10 years old. 
My family were staying at a friend's house and had to share a room. My dad comes to bed hammered and says to my mom something along the lines of does it impress you that I'm this drunk and can still perform. I actually wanted to die. I wasn't pretending to be asleep so much as they assumed I was asleep. My in-laws thought I was still napping after dropping my kid off at school, and they started to shit talk me. They said I was a terrible mom, I didn't care about my kids at all and they better buy a cake because I would rather sleep all day than make him a cake. It was his birthday and my god, it was only 10 am, it doesn't take that long to make and frost a cake for him. Anyways, I cried in my room for 2 hours before they left to buy groceries e drink themselves into a stupor, before I got up and made the cake and birthday dinner my child asked for. I didn't tell my husband what they said until a week later because I didn't want to ruin his or my child's day. My sister got drunk and I heard a loud thud and she blacked out. Two of her friends and my mom and dad were shouting at each other and they were saying to shut up cause they didn't want to wake me up and they were all crying thinking she was dead and I couldn't tell my sister I was happy she didn't die. Now I appreciate seeing her every week. I was a camp counselor. Two girls very much like to make hot or not lists. One of them suggested a male counselor was hot, and the other said he was saying mean things about me behind my back, which made him not hot. Hurt to hear that from my campers, but glad they supported me. This is Red at Joe channel, and don't forget to hit subscribe down below for more upcoming videos.